Hell y'all, welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 Mod Review. In this video, we are looking at Pax Britannica, an alternate history science fiction mod. The lore goes like this. The American Revolution failed, and also Nikola Tesla's wireless power concept succeeded in its goal. The Victorian era has been flash frozen by disadvancement, creating an anarchic mix of the Jazz Age, Wellesian science fiction, and transhumanism. The world is familiar, yet utterly alien. The Great War also happened in this timeline, and it was waged between the Imperial Powers and the Latin Bourbon Dynasties. This violence tore the world asunder. Japan fell to revolution and civil war. Spain descended into anarchy, and a 300-year-old Bourbon Dynasty fell. The mod starts in 1933. France is trying to reclaim her position as the dominant power of Europe, Russia has fallen to the tides of revanchism over their mutilated victory, Republican Japan emerges from isolation, and the United Commonwealth across the Atlantic threatens to split the British Empire like Rome of old. We are going to look at some of the countries in this world, but do understand as of recording, only Britain, Germany, and France have fully playable content at this time. Let's begin our little tour around the world with Australia. There we have New Holland, who is a subject of the Kingdom of Dietzland, the Commonwealth of Victoria, who is a subject of Imperial Britain, and the German Pacific Commonwealth, who is a subject of the United Kingdoms of Germany. And last but not least, we have the Republic of Australia, who I want to assume was formerly a colony of France, guessing by their flag. I don't know. Going west to Africa, the only countries that don't seem to be European subject states here are Abyssinia, the Kingdom of Morocco, the Portuguese Kingdom in Exile, and let me find it, it's very tiny, the Sagello Cossack Host. Going to the Middle East, this whole region is dominated by the Emirate of Hejaz and the United Arab Emirates, which consists of Hejaz and its many, many Emir electors. Besides that, the Malachite of Kurdistan, Muscat and Oman, and the sublime state of Persia are also here. Next is South America, where you may notice a united Brazil does not exist. It's all broken up into smaller countries. Regional powers of this continent include the Argentine Confederation, the Andean Federation, and the Empire of Gran Colombia, who is fighting revolutionary Ecuador. In Asia, we have countries like the Maratha Confederacy, the Empire Great Qing, the Joseon Kingdom, the Republic of Japan, and the Rathakosan Empire, Rathakosan Empire in Siam slash Thailand. And also, there's also quite a few wars going on around here. We have the Revolutionary Army of Vietnam fighting the British in what I think is called the, what is it called? It's the, let me check the wars. It's the Tonkin Campaign. Then we have the Third Filipino Independence War being fought between the Filipino Insurrection and the German Pacific Commonwealth. And besides that, the last war we have here is the let me find it where is it at it's between the let me look real quick we have the malaysian succession war going on between the malaysian national front and the kalimantan sultanate traveling across the pacific and returning back to the americas we find such nations in central america such as the new new constitutional nicaragua the federation of los altos yucatan the confederation of the antilles empire mexico Rio Grande, and moving north into what would be the USA. In our timeline, we have the Republic of Tejas, the United Commonwealth, the Republic of Santa Fe, Fredonia, Union Standard Oil Company. It's an oil company with a country. New Zion, Confederation of the Free Tribes. What else do we have here? New Virginia, all the way on the west coast. And that's no country, that's just wasteland. Northwest territory colonial authority belonging to a puppet of the British Empire and we have the California Republic and beyond that there is the Commonwealth of Quebec the Northwest Territorial Colonial Authority again and Novorossiya which is a Russian puppet state speaking of the Russian Empire they have a large list of puppets such as we're going to go through all these Congress Poland the Ottoman Empire the Russian military administration in Finland, who is fighting Finland. In fact, they're fighting the Free Finnish Army. Next is the Mughalstan, is that how you say it? And what would be Afghanistan? What is this? The Baltic Governorate. 
and the Caucus Feist Royalty. And last but not least, finally, we have Noerosia, which we just talked about. Before we get to Germany, France, and Britain, let's see what the other countries in Europe are up to. We have the Kingdom of Sweden. The Kingdom of Sweden, they exist. Kingdom of Norway, who is a junior partner of Denmark, who also has Shazwick Holstein as a junior partner. Below them is the Kingdom of Dietzland, who has a ton of puppets, such as the Batavia Interim Government. They have... New Holland, who we saw earlier, who's in Australia, the Sultanate of Esh, Esh, I don't know where it's at. They have the Republic of Natalia, the Orange Free State, these are all like countries that would be in what would be considered South Africa. Then there is the Republic of Goshen, the New Republic, that's a very vague name, and Swaziland as a client state. But below Dietzland is Wallonia, they are independent, so is Brittany. And then moving down into Spain, we have the Basque Republic, who is guaranteeing the Bishopka, Bishopka, Bishop, I don't know, Bishopka of Andorra, and we have the Holy Order of Spain, and we have the Divine Kingdom of Portugal. And moving over to the other countries in the Mediterranean, we have, let's look here, the Italian Social Revolutionary Front, who is in a war with the Kingdom of Italy. There's also the Kingdom of Corsica, led by Napoleon Bonaparte VI, and there's tiny old Monaco, the Principality of Monaco. And above that is the Swiss Confederation. Also, about Italy, they have a puppet in North Africa called the, what is it called? Well, they're not a puppet, but they're just sort of there. The Maghreb, Maghreb? I'm not pronouncing that. It's North Africa, whatever. Maghreb Concessions Zone. And moving over more into Europe, once again, we have the Croatian Khan Republic, who is a sister republic slash puppet of the Hungarian Khan Republic. Below Hungary is the Kingdom of Greater Serbia, who is like Yugoslavia, but it's just Serbia, the Kingdom of Romania, Bulgaria, Albania, and finally, the Hellenic Republic. Now with the rest of the world more or less covered, let's talk about countries with fully playable content, such as the Republic of France. In the lore of Pax Britannica, an ultra-nationalist regime took over the country after the French lost the Great War. France seems to play the part of the German Reich in this timeline due to the fact it suffered a brutal defeat under a different government and in the aftermath of that event it has become a nation that wants to strike back against those it lost to. Let's talk about the United Kingdoms of Germany. It came out on the winning side of the Great War, but following that it kind of dropped the ball. This country is currently experiencing a political lockdown and suffering from an economic crisis. Germany has three subjects and they are German Central Africa, the German Pacific Commonwealth, and Sudwest Africa. The last place we will talk about is Imperial Britain. The British Empire is at its weakest point. The concert of Europe was put to an end due to the Great War. After the conclusion of the Grand Conflict that war was, the British retreated into isolationism dealing with an imperial confederation that appears increasingly archaic and constituent commonwealths that are becoming more assertive britain faces a number of threats both inside and out and let's go through all the subjects the british have it's a lot so we have the irish commonwealth the what is it now it's just bear with me there's a lot of them to go through the commonwealth of victoria the british administration in bengal and Burma, which is led by Winston Churchill. The, what is this, Kingdom of Egypt? It's just a long and long list. Oh, I opened the focus tree by accident, which is quite expansive, I think. The United Commonwealth, which is on the east coast of what would be the United States of America. The Pearl River Dominion. The Commonwealth of Quebec. The Northwest Territory Colonial Authority. The Far East Administration, the British African Authority, Acadia, yeah, just called Acadia, that's a British subject, the East African Administration, the Free City of Singapore, the Dominion of Alatora Ataria, it's New Zealand, this is what you would call it, it's New Zealand essentially, Tunisia, which is an integrated state, and the client state that is the condominium of the Tamil kingdoms, and that's Imperial Britain and all their subjects. 
we're through with countries but now let's look at the technology tree this mod does have a slightly different well I wouldn't say slightly different it is a different technology tree from the base game but industry and electronics looks about normal except for the fact for electronics on the far right side there is terror weapons weapons of mass destruction laboratory conditions for germ growth it's biological warfare you got basic toxic chemical com compounds so you have biological warfare here and moving on to infantry, you have things like your weapons, rations, stimulants, like, you know, the take pills and fight in battle. Support, which looks like vanilla Hoi 4, but you have flamethrowers flame and shock jockeys. Interesting. Armor, seems about normal, but tanks are called land ships in this mod. And Pax Britannica, we have automatrons, which are one of the big features of this mod. And they function essentially like mechs, I think what you would call mechs. They're duopods, tripods, quadrupods, and that just means how many legs they have. And those go all the way up to 1943 in terms of technology. Artillery seems like vanilla Hoi 4. Arguments. Arguments are like these bio-human creations. So you have comaget primordial forms. They're like modified bio-cal things, and those can be... Modified up to these combat get combat get combat get combat gate assault forms and they can go into some strange places. I like the designs though. This mod is very creative. I'll give it that. It is definitely a science fiction mod. We have hard suits and razor maidens, which is some biohuman stuff going on there. Do we have naval, which seems about normal? Yeah, it looks normal. Air, which is there is some slight alterations from the from the vanilla. Hoi 4 tree, so you have the Teleforce engine, which you have cast, and it's a UFO. Then you have an intrasonic uranium engine, which is absurd. You also have rotor craft, rotary engine craft, so you have helicopters before helicopters were ever used in combat. Well, you're using them in the 1930s anyway. I'm going to finish the mod review here. Pax Britannica is a Hoi 4 mod with lots of potential. It definitely has a lot of creativity in it. Check out the mod. The link is in the video description. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.